we as the Alternative Center have partnered with the Food Bank, so San Antonio Food Bank, to be a distribution site. So once a month, uh, the Food Bank will come and drop off a load like they have today with 12 pallets, and we will we'll have our students organize it, assemble it, pack it, and then distribute it to needy families in the community. Well, I got in the line and the lady asked me was I here for the Food Bank, and I was like, no. And uh, as my wife got out of the car, she was like, um, they're giving away free food, see how we can get some. And I was like, okay, I'll check. And, I asked the lady and she said she'd give me a voucher. We've had people walking over from the apartments asking what it, what it does it mean, can they get food, and we're giving them vouchers and we told them come back at one o'clock. It just makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing, so I'm just helping these people that are in need. Any single distribution can support up to 250 families. And this is our first event, but we'll do it once a month and we'll start putting it on our website. We may get a little wet, but that's okay, you know. Look at the line, it's all the way to McCullough. So we're, there's a lot of families in need not only with our district, but within the community. So the rain doesn't bother me at all. Being an alternative center, all of the students that we have are placed because at some point they made a decision that got them in trouble. Um, often that is related to interpersonal skills, problem solving skills, stress management, interacting with peers. In this environment and doing this, they have to do all of those things. They have to problem solve, they have to work together, they're interacting with the community. It's pretty awesome. I didn't expect that from here. You know, but it's a great thing and very appreciative.